I saw the other day that uh, Tubal Kane on his channel had bought a, a tachometer for a drill press that he was doing. And I thought, you know, I'd like to have a better tachometer for my Monarch lathe. And so I bought one. They're only, this is my uh, Monarch lathe here. Uh, I bought one on eBay and it was like, I don't even remember actually, it's like 10 or, 10 or $15. It wasn't much at all, but the way you install this thing is, uh, now, you get, this comes with it, I 3D printed this, this is kind of a, a little bit of a box that uh, slides in there, and you could just strap this box to something, you wouldn't even need this outer box. Um, I'll give you a, a, a picture of the, how to wire it up, and talk about that here in a minute, because it's a little, little tricky, um, but the other thing is, the sensor goes... Let me show you. All right, so here's the sensor uh, down in the lathe, and you can see there's a magnet, and you just stick it on some part of the uh, of the lathe, the drill press, or whatever it is you're putting it on that's going to be going at the speed of whatever it, whatever it is that you're trying to measure. So I put this on the spindle because that's what I want to measure. Now, um, in Tubal Kane's video, he talked about one. He had to buy two of them because one of them didn't work. And it could be, you know, I don't know, it could be that it was broken, but uh, one of the things that I noticed was this magnet, it just sticks on there. And when you put it on there, if it's upside down, it won't work. So um, if you put this in and you're having trouble with it, just flip your magnet over. And that's all I had to do to make mine work um, perfectly. All right, so now let me just kind of give you, uh, show you how it works. Now, my lathe has a tachometer right here, and it does work. It's just not very accurate. Uh, it seems a little stiff, so it's always um, shown to me, it always seems to be a little bit low. Let me start the lathe up, and I'll show you. Now that's going to steady out and be right about, oh, probably 380, 390. But you can see the actual is 441. Let me zoom in a little bit on that for you. And then I'll vary the speed of the of the lane. Turning it down. Let's see how low it'll actually. This is as low as my lathe goes. So my lathe will go 38 RPMs. Okay, so here's the wiring diagram of how to wire this thing, and um, it also has this one, which to me was more helpful, except the uh, the names are wrong down here; they're not in English. But so you need a twelve, uh, a between eight and twenty-four volt power supply, DC power supply, and I just used a wall wart, you know, one of those uh, transformers you plug into the wall that charges um, things. You know, they come in all different kind of uh, different voltages. So that's what I use to power it. And so this is how you wire it up. So you do your positive side of your power supply to pin one, your negative side to pin two. Your brown wire from your, um, your sensor, your brown wire goes to one, the blue wire goes to three, and the black wire goes to pin five. And number four is not used. And that's how you wire it up. Remember, if you have any problems, it's probably that you need to flip your magnet over. Um, and Or it could be that your power supply, if it doesn't light up at all, it's probably your power supply. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. Like I said, I'll put a link to them uh, in the description in case you're interested. Thank you for watching.